Hello, today I will be showing off my new procedural terrain generator that I've been working on for the Unity game engine. This uh, terrain generator is implemented using octrees, which allow me to have these vast worlds also have a relatively small voxel size, which is 0 0.25 at the moment. This octree allows me to load in chunks in and out of memory when needed. So as you can see, that chunk over there will become a higher resolution chunk when I get closer to it because of the octree like that. But it allows me to have these pretty f vast maps without sacrificing performance or memory by generating everything beforehand. Currently this map is only one kilometer with an octree depth of seven, but I'm pretty sure that is because the smaller voxel size you go, the more you need to generate, obviously. Now what you saw me do there is a uh, voxel edit. So I can have these edits that modify the voxel data inside the world. So I can destroy some terrain, or I can add some if I wanted to, like that. I can also change the size of these voxel edits. Currently, this is all implemented using the job system. Well, the edits are at least, and the meshing. The voxel generation step is implemented using compute shaders, which is then asynchronously read back to the CPU when needed. Currently, I'm only doing one async request per frame while I'm I can handle up to four mesh jobs or edit jobs per frame. So it is currently GPU bottlenecked. My GPU isn't the best. It's a mobile 1050. So I would rather offload most of the work to my CPU since I can handle such things, but not voxel generation since that is very, very slow for CPUs at least. Well, mine at least. Now. This terrain over here is a used using a different material. As you can see, it has a checkerboard pattern. It's different material than the snow and rock. So if I were to cut through it over here, you could see the two different materials, the checkerboard pattern material and the rock or snow material. The rock and snow are actually implemented using one shader graph as you can see because there is some smoothing normally you can you can't do that with the voxel system in my train generator but this allows me to keep a pretty high um, color consistency resolution between all chunks since the um, chunks get bigger and bigger the further you are so it wouldn't look as well if I were using normal voxel materials for this kind of stuff and as you can see, it's slope based, so it only cares about the slope of the normal. Now, uh, the meshing algorithm that I'm using right now is naive surface nets, accelerated using some Martian cubes um, optimizations. I noticed there was a some sort of um, some stuff in common between the Martian cubes algorithm and naive surface nets whenever they handle generating vertices and checking edges for intersections so I just used that as an optimization feature so there are some issues currently occurring with my engine uh, or voxel terrain generator first of all is that voxel edits are not stored they are not serialized or deserialized yeah so whenever you unload a chunk it just discards all the voxel edits that are occurring or that have occurred within it. This could be easily fixed by storing the voxel data for each chunk um, whenever it unloads or and load it back up whenever the chunk uh, loads. This could be easily detected by the octree by the way but I just haven't got to implying that yet. Another uh, major problem is these gaps. Now this is not because the edits are not stored but simply because the it just happens so if I get closer to that area over there you might see a gap between the terrain like over there that gap occurs because there are different LOD levels this could be fixed if you were using Martian cubes you could use something like skirts but for surface nets implementing skirts is a bit more um, it's a bit harder I tried implementing it in my custom terrain generator and it was a bit harder to get the normals right because it makes it seem very obvious 
so I'm probably just going to do some um, edge or face generation by making edge meshes special edge meshes that like connect these two chunks at different LOD levels this is also all limited by the amount of asynchronous readback jobs and mesh jobs that you are doing per frame currently as I said I'm only doing four mesh jobs and only one asynchronous job so that's why it might seem to be a bit slow whenever it's updating this is a it's a quite a bit of data to move around the CPU and GPU this could be fixed by just having more jobs but that would hinder performance especially when it comes to asynchronous readback jobs since those require the GPU for mesh jobs you can really have as many as those because the job system and burst will just get handle it automatically no worries and yeah that was the gap I was talking about so there are some limitations with the terrain generator currently but I'm, I'm working on fixing those so yeah thank you all for watching